black magic speed test i don't think the black magic is working properly or i don't think it actually works that well on nvme or these type of ssd hard drive chip um cards i as you can see in the bottom it's all green and on the right you can see the read and writes for different options so it's pretty high here it's just not showing it above so this is a speed test before i do the raid zero upgrade to the four terabyte drives the mvme western digital i'll get i'll show you the information i'll show you the box I'm gonna upgrade RAID 0 and put eight terabytes in this Alienware X17R2. Max it out as max as I could. Okay, those numbers are good, all right. It took a while, I was only getting like 120 and 350, so I left it running and finally it's, you know, that's more appropriate even though, uh, yeah. And then I did the crystal test, and that's underneath. And let me move this out of the way. And the actual crystal test. These are the speed read and writes for the standard. This is the, on the, the one that came. This is the one terabyte version that comes with the Alienware. X17R2. Uh, I upgraded the RAM to 64 gigs. Now I'm upgrading the hard drive to 8 terabytes. So let's uh, do that. This is the single chip when I do a RAID 0 of 8 terabytes with the faster drive. I'm hoping to get much, much more higher rates of speed. All right, let's get to it. So after upgrading the laptop, installing two four terabyte SN850X NVMe SSD Western Digital brand into this laptop and configuring it into RAID 0. These are the numbers I'm getting with uh, Blackmagic speed test. Not great numbers on top. I don't think these I don't know, maybe the live uh, speed tests are not working well with SSDs, I'm not sure. Please let me know below if you know that Blackmagic, if you know that if Blackmagic is supposed to work on SSD, maybe the SSDs are just too fast. The bottom numbers look good. Everything is green, check mark. And these are the numbers I'm getting. So I don't know if we can, because it's in RAID configuration, if we can only read one drive at a time or, I'm not sure. I don't know if Blackmagic is specifically made for the NVMe drives. As for the crystal test, let me bring that up. The top number is doubled. I know that the bottom numbers are for lower, uh, for lower um, amounts of data. Uh, I believe that the top number is the theoretical or the amount that it, it can do. And then the bottom is the real world number. So um, these are the numbers I'm getting. Now the real world numbers don't match it. Uh, and the box is 7,300 megabytes per second. But the top numbers have doubled in speed. Top numbers have definitely doubled compared to the last, uh, compared to just testing one of, or testing the old hard drive, I should say, the old um, drive that was installed in here that it came with. Um, but this one's supposed to be read and write 7300, one of the fastest, and it's definitely double the speed, the top numbers, and the, the bottom numbers are a little bit better than the last ones. All right, so this was a quick speed test uh, for the Western Digital for the actual Dell Alienware Laptop X17 R2, um, which was upgraded 
to from one terabyte to eight terabytes uh, to Western Digital SNA50X NVMe SSD drives were installed and configured in RAID 0. And this is what I got so far. All right. I hope you liked the video. I hope it helps. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye now.